welcome back to another episode. So, oh, I have not. Why haven't I bought any? Well, I would have bought all these. Oh, I haven't got enough money. Okay, that may actually make a lot of sense. So, as you can see, I've actually unlocked another areas. I think it's the last. I think that was the last Forger Tower. Let's actually double check that one. So, I actually think I did this one off camera. Yeah, I think that's the actual last Forger Tower, and then it's just them over there. I really have to fix up this map. Templar agents. It's way too messy. My horse! No, it was on camera the last time I did this. All of these episodes have been on camera the last episodes. So I kind of love the fact that this horse actually has armor. It's only aesthetic purposes. Doesn't do much in general, but it's really decent. And it's one of the harder to find horses, which is only rode by mainly the generals or the captains, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, it's the last viewpoint's there. Right, so it is, the next main mission is the Thieves Guild, let's go straight there then. So when I'm actually recording these, it's actually during the time before I even released this Mass Effect episode last week. It's basically Tuesday, I am busy for the rest of the week. Next week, maybe I might be able to do them Saturday. So I can get like two weeks ahead of time again. Just do four, four, uh, eight episodes just in one day. <laughs> Watch myself die from exhaustion. You best not have just put money in my bank. If you put, just put money in my bank, I'm gonna cry game. No, good. I know I need, but I don't want. <laughs> so. The, the good thing about Assassin's Creed is there is so much variations you can play it any way you want. Ooh. Buongiorno, Ezio. It is time to pay a visit to the Precious Blood, Pietro. I've sent my men out to find him. Nota bene. <laughs> Ezio, if I may. No. What is it? Someone warned Rodrigo to stay away from the Castello. Machiavelli? Do you have proof? No. We must not be slid apart by mere suspicion. The Borgia. Those are locations of spies. Who told them? Maestro Machiavelli asked about us at Fort Pietro earlier today. Ezio? So is he actually a traitor? I can't remember like... Oh, it's the fact that Ezio came to...
I hate Albert Rangers. I don't mind playing at them, but I hate them against I hate being against them. I still do not believe Machiavelli has turned traitor. I've got a question. Is he actually behind it all? Or. Was it one of his men? La vie. La vie. La vie. La vie. La vie. La vie. Whoa. Whoa. La vie. Whoa. 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 There, Lata. There, there. I don't know what happened there, but it's like, you want to run this? No. Why would I ever let you do that? I wish when you called, uh, when you hired Mount, when you hired like mercenary, the mercenaries, the assass the um, other people. Was I not supposed to kill them? <gasps> My horse! As I just said, the skin on it, it's, so, it's such a rare customized skin. Because it's got the enemy... Ah, oh, thank lord. My horse, my horse is amazing. How'd that bounce off? <laughs> what were you able to find out? The asteroid should be assassinated this week. Jacob has sent his bullet there. So, an assassin is to be assassinated this evening. Convenience. Miguel Esco, the best killer in Roma. No one escapes him. Until tonight. Come on. Oh, why am I on a white horse? Oh, and I'll just... There it is. Game being synchronized me because all because I ran to go and get an armored horse. Like I don't understand why it don't have like an assassin coated horse, which would have been cooler. Until tonight. Come on. I want this one. Yeah. Are you coming? My dude. So the only downside is because this horse has got heavy armor, it's actually slower than most of the other horses. But the good thing is it's such an aesthetically pleasing horse. I I love think about it, you're an assassin. You're gonna hide in army outfits. You could hide on top of a horse with the army own uniform. Yes, it's heavily armored, but it allows you access to the army's base with ease due to the fact that you don't have to 
come in on a horse that's like right white. But then again, there's an if you had an assassin horse, it'd be like a monastery type horse, so it looked like it was wearing religious uniform. Okay, fine. You wanna play this game? There we go. Did you uncover information about Pietro? He hasn't been asked yet, and he is performing in a play that don't pay. Stop giving me a white horse! The game generally doesn't want me to have that armored horse, does it? Well, technically, it wouldn't make sense to have an armored horse like in the middle of like cheat rushing around, would it? <laughs> but I want the I wanted the armored horse. It took me so long to find one. I do love how I can just call assassins like. It, I, I really am looking forward to Black Flags. Black Flags and Assassin's Creed 3. Don't get me wrong. The other Assassin's Creed are so superior than some of them. Assassin's Creed 1 was revolutionary just for its time period. But Black Flags and 3 had much more story lore based as... Well, you'll blame when we get there. But, it's... Black Flags, I'm mainly looking forward to, because if you have never seen the trailer for it, it's basically in, based in the pirate era. Black, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 is based in... Assassin's Creed 3 is based in um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the assassins just firing up good <laughs> Way. And that all of them. <laughs> you bought the gunfire just for a single person. It's ridiculous. I didn't mean to like fire like loads off, but me and my assassins just all went. Yeah, we're from the cowboy errand guys. Now let's go. Fire, fire, fire. So. I actually want to keep this short, so I'm going to actually end the episode here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please like, comment, subscribe. And, well, just in general, just have fun type thing. There's like other people out there that do the same type of things. But there's others that have more interesting, more colluded ways. Like, you could watch a series based on one person. What if one person, then watch the series another person's done, and the series could be completely different vibe just because it's two different people. You never know how a series is going to be with with uh, nice piece of <laughs> you never know how a series is going to be like with just watching one person. 
like I've watched Subnautica by a hun by about three, four different people, and each time I've loved it again and again. I've actually got the game myself, so I actually have played it, and every time I look at it, even watching it someone else, the vibe is so different to how I am, how I play, and I enjoy it because of that. So, just remember guys, like, no matter what, a game you play could be different, played, could be played differently by someone else, and those people are playing it how they would play it. So, that's why I say just have fun, watch others, I may not be the best, I may not be the worst, but I'm having fun playing it. That's all that anyone really requires of anyone. Have fun. Enjoy the game. Relax. And just... Really take in what you want to. A game has story, has lore. You could be play based on playing games with rich fighting scenes, rich story. Or you could play games which is based on more solemn tree and home type experience. So like, it could be sims where you can build a family, build a home, stuff like that. So just remember, no matter what, play the game how you want to play it. On that note, bye guys.